YouTube, what is up? Let's see what we got in the garage today. Boom, RS1. Look at this little this little mutant. That's what I like to call it. I feel like this is a uh, parts bin car to me, kind of. Uh, parts bin RZR. But that's a good thing though, not a bad thing, a good thing. Uh, some of the best cars I've ever bought were, were, were parts bins cars. So if you've ever seen like a BMW M2, they just took kind of like the cheapest BMW at the time and they put all the M3 stuff on it and it was like the most popular, like best driving car that they made. So really cool. And that's kind of what I feel like this thing is. Uh, this crazy little one seater, this little, this little mutant. Um, every time I look at it, I got I like double take. It's just so, uh, so different, so different to look at and so cool. Um, it's really growing on me. The looks are really growing on me. Look at that little, that little alien front end. I love it, man. It's so, so sick. Um, yeah. So let's go over this little bad boy. I really, I think, I think we'll start with the, uh, just, it's in a class of its own. So there is no competitor to this. There's nothing. Um, this thing is tearing up short courses. These guys are just absolutely killing it on these short course races. They are killing everybody. It is the new, the new king of short course. Um, and it's pretty, it's pretty impressive. Definitely a huge step up in quality, which we'll go into. But let's get, let's just hop, let's hop in this thing. Cause I think this is probably the coolest thing about it is just the cockpit. It is so cool that you can, that you got access to both sides and it's so weird. This is like your McLaren F1, man. You're just right, right in the middle. It is so comfortable in here. I'll say this, like if I was on a little trail ride or whatever um, and you're in the machine by yourself, how, this is so nice, man. Such a good little wheelbase and just so comfortable in here. And I really like it. Really crazy good visibility. Um, one thing I was talking to some of the Polaris guys, one thing they told me is that by them moving the radiators out of the front of the car, it was able to give them a really nice like slope in the front. They, they had a lot more room up there. So you have a really nice front end. And look, this is kind of like where you'd be looking. You can't even see the hood unless you come up. So pretty cool, amazing visibility out of this guy. It's just, it's just badass. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, crazy cockpit. You got your, uh, your left, your left foot brake pedal, which I don't even know if I would really necessarily use that that much, but it is cool. I don't know. I don't know if I get used to it. Maybe I could. I see you drive a little bit. Um, all right, let's get out. But yeah, let's take a look at that front end again. So yeah, pretty crazy. You've got this. You've got a lot of angle um, on this, and it just makes it so you just see out of the front of the car. I mean, you're basically just seeing wheels. Um, and then this is all cleaned up too because there's no there's no air catch up here. So pretty crazy. Let's go back down in here. So there is your Turbo S front diff. So on the cheapest, almost the cheapest side by side they make, they're giving you their very best diff which is cool. So I love this diff in the Turbo S. The engagement is just so smooth and it's so much beefier and high quality. So crazy, crazy good. Uh, let's see. I think that's the other thing too, just the price of this guy, 14 grand. So $14,000, I'm not gonna call it cheap, but if you wanna get into side-by-sides, a $14,000 rig, I mean, dude, it, it used they're gonna be a great deal it's gonna be pretty awesome. So let's talk about like the parts on it. So I said it was a parts bin. We basically have all the parts are, most of the parts are carrying over from a 2018 RZR Turbo. So not a Turbo S, but a Turbo. The diff is from a Turbo S, but all of your arms, axles, shocks, you know, the, uh, then you have the 110 horsepower motor, but then you have the turbo clutches in this thing. Um, so you've got, you've got all the turbo stuff with the non-turbo motor. They've recalibrated and retuned the, um, the, the clutching and the motor. It's supposed to be super snappy. I have, I've only done, done a little drifting in the parking lot with it and it was awesome. Just getting it sideways. So controllable. So cool how you could see both sides of the car. Um, 
It kind of reminds me of a story. It's like when you're sitting on one side of the car or the other, I remember at the racetrack, I actually have a right-hand drive car. So you sit in the passenger side for racing. Um, so I have a right-hand drive and all my friends have left-hand drive. And I remember we'd go through corners and on the left-hand corners, they would just like, they would kill me. But then we'd go to these crazy right-hand corners and I'd be like, why aren't those guys taking the right line? It was because I could see it. So it's so cool being in the middle of the cab because you can see everything. You know, you can just see, you can see your line so good. And I just thought about that. I just kicked ass on every right-hand corner because of, because I have the vision. I could just place my front tire right on that edge and just kick butt. So pretty awesome, pretty awesome. Let's take a look at the, uh, the motor. So pretty sick how compact everything is. Um, supposedly it's cooling really well. You've got your, uh, so you've got your clutch intake and just your air intake both in these two little pieces here. I think it's a really cool design. I, I really like how compact everything is uh, back here. It's pretty freaking sick. And again, these are all your uh, 64 inch RZR turbo arms back here. Uh, you have these panels too. These actually come off. So you have good access to the engine. You've got ties here, a little piece here. You've got good access to everything if you need to do a service. I just did an oil service on the Turbo S and it was super, super easy, honestly, super easy. This this link to me looks like a new piece, but I'm not positive. But yeah, pretty sweet. Um, we got Walker Evans uh, shocks all the way around. These shocks have always been really comfortable shocks. So I bet this thing with these big horns I think if it was me, I'd probably go with some 30s. I'd probably do some 30 inch liberties on it, but the big horns are nice and they're super comfortable. And with those shocks, with those Walker Evans shocks, I bet this thing has the nicest ride, man. I bet it's so comfortable. I'd love to, it's a player seat. Honestly, it's still pretty comfortable. I would love to see um, a full suspension seat in this thing. You only have to buy one. It's, it's gonna be an easy upgrade. Full suspension seat in this thing would be freaking awesome. Uh, power to weight ratio, so 110 horse, it's about 1350. So it's only 120 pounds or something lighter than a two seat turbo. But the difference is the two seat turbo is an old chassis. This is an all new chassis. It's twice as strong. Everything is beefed up in it, everything. So again, it comes, I think Polaris is really trying to step up their quality. And so you're in your cheapest machine, you're getting actually probably the some of the best quality. Um, I was talking to them. I want to know more about this machine. They told me they tested it. They put about 85,000 miles on it and they did not break an axle. So hopefully this will be a quality machi machine for, for everybody. Um, it's looking like it. I can't wait to drive it. Um, it has an upgraded power steering system. All their power steering is feeling really good. All the new machines, like I feel like they got the steering stuff figured out. The steering tuning on the Turbo S is amazing. And I haven't really tested it, so I don't know, but supposedly it's the bomb. So it looks like they've really figured out the steering. Um, lighting. I love the lights. Polaris has good lights. They do good lights. Um, you got the little, little alien light in the back, which is actually a Turbo S light turned upside down. So like I said, this is the little... This is the little parts bin car, but it's cool. Um, got a nice tie, tie down hook in the front and the rear to tie her down. Uh, it's a smaller chassis, you've got an 83 inch wheelbase instead of a 90 inch wheelbase on a two seater. So a little bit smaller. I think just, just being in the center of the car, it's gonna be so nimble. Uh, let's see, hopefully it's crazy reliable. I really hope that's the case. All right guys, let's go over a couple more things. I want to show you, these are the um, RZR turbo brakes. They are four piston brakes, but they do have a new piece on there. That's a brake guard slash cooler. Same thing you'll find on the Turbo S. I noticed it when I changed the wheels on the Turbo S and I noticed it on this machine, but really cool. So even though they've given you a, like a, a cheaper machine, man, they, I don't feel like they've gone cheap. Uh, let's go over storage real quick. So you've got some storage in here. Um, you can hold like a six pack or whatever they make a cooler that will go in here. And then you also got your battery. It's really nice that your battery is that easy to get 
to get to. If you ever have a battery problem, trying to rip out a seat or something kind of sucks, so really like that. Uh, and it seems to be pretty well designed, pretty easy. So they've really used every little piece of this machine. Uh, let's go here to the back. They make a bag that goes here. This can hold 55 pounds. You can put whatever. I know they, I saw that they had that spare tire uh, mount on the side, which is kind of a crazy little idea, but yeah, they figured out how to put a spare tire on this right side. So they really, it's a compact patch, package, but they really thought about everything I feel like on it. And it's gonna be pretty freaking fun. I really can't wait to get it out on the trail. I feel like I'm gonna be impressed. We'll see, you know, we'll find out, but I'm definitely impressed with what I see walking around with it. It, it looks like a, like a well-built machine for the money. Uh, and uh, I'm, I'm just excited. I'm excited. This year's gonna be so fun with side-by-sides, man. So fun, I can't wait. We got Moab this weekend, but it's gonna be freaking awesome. So there you go, there's a little RS1. Uh, hopefully some riding videos coming soon, but I'm pumped. Uh, I appreciate it guys. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.